Morning everyone, welcome to MRTB, Mitch Reads the Bible. Um, I'm Mitch, and we're about to read the Bible. <laughs> uh, we're in Mark chapter 3. Today's passage actually is what they call a Markean sandwich. Uh, Markean is in Mark, Mark wrote it. Uh, but it's a, it's a, and it happens a lot in Mark's gospel actually. What, what it is, is it's one story split into two parts with another story kind of slotted in the middle. You get it like a sandwich, like you know, a ham sandwich with a piece of a piece of bread. Or let's say a roll. A roll's probably better. A roll split in two with a piece of, you know, ham kind of s- stuck in the um, in the middle of the sandwich. Um, it's it comes up all the time actually. But today because we don't have 45 minutes, it would take me probably 45 minutes to explain all the stuff in the sandwich. Hey, stop it. Dogs are fighting. Um, I'm just going to look at the the outside bits. So here you go. So just the bread in the sandwich, not the ham. Then he went home, and the crowd came together again, so they could not even eat. When his family heard it, they went out to restrain him, for people were saying, he's gone out of his mind. (laughs) Just imagine that. You're going around, you know, preaching the kingdom you're healing the sick and then um your family's embarrassed because people are saying that you're out of your mind and they're trying to stop you restrain him as if they're kind of grabbing him um poor jesus um this is how the story ends then his mother and his brothers came and standing outside they sent to him and called him a crowd was sitting around him and they said to him your mother and your brothers and your sisters are outside asking for you and he replied who are my mother and my brothers and looking at those who sat around him he said here are my mother and my brothers whoever does the will of god is my brother and my sister and my mother um it's an interesting story isn't it i I don't think what jesus is saying I i don't think he's abandoning his family um as if he's saying i don't like the, as, as if he's doing that modern thing, you know, where kids get a divorce from their parents. <laughs> Have you heard about that? I think it happens in the United States where kids di- divorce their parents as if you get to choose your family. You don't get to choose your family. Um, you know, your family are your family. And Jesus' family are pretty central to the church. And particularly his mum, Mary, has been venerated um, by Christians right from the beginning. James, his brother, is a central figure in the early church he's not abandoning his family but he is expanding his family um yeah it's as if he's saying you know the the most important relationships in the first century were the relationships with your blood family that's where your property went um you know that's that's um where your things were passed down they were the people that you were most committed to and jesus is saying yeah sure be most committed to your family just make your family bigger your family is anyone who does the will of god your family is anyone who calls on the name of jesus your family is all the christians and so throughout the new testament and all the way from the beginning of the church you would have christians you know calling everyone the 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 slave people you know women um rich people, free people, uh, foreigners, people from different countries, they, they, they would all come together in their churches and they would call each other brethren, brothers and sisters, they would say to each other, because it's as if these relationships are so fundamentally important. So he's not abandoning his family, he's expanding it. My friends, uh, if you were a follower of Jesus, it is your job to expand your family, to include all those people um, who are on the journey, on the path, following the will of God. They are now um, the people who you share your stuff with. They are now the people um, uh, who you help out and take to the airport or you know help move or clean their houses or um, look after them when you're sick. Um, we have a family that's connected to our church at the moment and their little daughter is in hospital. Um, and they just put out this little message to pray. Um, and because they're seen as family, as brothers and sisters, uh, so many people were like, what else can we do? Can we drop around meals to you? Uh, is there anything out of the way that we can help out? Just let us know if you need us to look after your kids because they're seen as brothers and sisters. Um, expand your family, my friends.